The Google Nest Hub and Nest Mini are some of my favorite smart home devices, but privacy is always a concern. In today's video, we're gonna be going over five Google Assistant features that you need to be turning off right away, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So the more that we bring these awesome devices into our home, privacy is definitely a concern. Now, Google has gotten better even with just in the last few months with privacy, but there may still be some holes in the policy that we're gonna help you clean up. We've also added a few other things you're gonna wanna turn off to help round out this list, and I'll be going over the steps on how to fix these. And I gotta say, you guys are lucky that you are not Amazon Alexa users. And if you are, or you know somebody who is, check out the video I did above on seven Alexa features that you need to turn off right away. Also on this channel, I cover a lot of Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa features and products. So if you are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. With that said, let's get started. So did you know that your Google Assistant, yeah, your little buddy here, has been saving your voice recordings? Well, it used to. Just within the last few months here, Google has made a policy change not to automatically opt you into voice recording. But this is a feature that might still be turned on for you, and if it's not, your recordings might still be saved in the cloud. I'm gonna show you how to go in and change those settings and also delete your recordings if you want to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our phones and we're gonna load up the Google Home app. Now up in the very top right corner, you're gonna see your picture. So we're gonna click on our picture profile. We're gonna to go to assistant settings. And then we're gonna click on the U portion, which is highlighted in blue. And the very top one here, your data in the assistant. So I'm gonna click on that. And let's see, we're gonna scroll down here to audio recordings. So for me, mine is actually turned on. And below that, we've got options for listening and deleting activity. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the arrow to see what our options are. And down here, include audio recording. So you're gonna uncheck that box to turn this feature off. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, click on stop saving, got it. And then we've also got options down here for auto deleting and managing our activity. So my auto deleting is off. We've got options for saving for three months, 18 months, 36 months before audio gets automatically deleted. I'm gonna go ahead and back out of there. All you have to do is back out of everything and it's automatically gonna save that setting for you. So just like voice recordings, Google also saves information from sites and app that you use with the Google Assistant. If you are concerned with privacy, these are probably gonna be some features that you're gonna wanna take a look at and see if you want them on. We're gonna go ahead and load up the app again. We're also gonna go into the top right corner, click on our picture profile, and we're gonna click on assistant settings again. But in the very top right corner, you're gonna see the three dots. We're gonna tap on that to bring up the three dots and go to activity controls. So click on activity controls. This is not only going to bring up what we saw before with the include audio recording, but if we scroll down, we're gonna see some other things. One of them is gonna be location history. So if you do have this feature turned on, Google is going to keep a history of everywhere you go. So if you travel to the store or to Disneyland or you know, down the street, it is going to keep track of everywhere that you go. To turn this off, you're just gonna tick the little box right next to it, scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna click on pause because I don't want it to be tracking my history. Okay, it's been updated, I got that. Scrolling down even more, it also tracks your YouTube history because my YouTube account is linked up to this one right here. That's when I'm fine with it tracking right there. And then we've also got add personalization. So you can dive into these settings here to take a look at what it's actually tracking. The next thing that I recommend turning off might seem kind of simple, but it is an important privacy concern, and that is your camera. Now, Google Assistant is built into more than just the Nest Hubs. We've also got things like Lenovo Smart Displays or the JBL Link View, but those have physical shutters that you can actually close, and that is something that I recommend. If you have something like the Google Nest Hub Max, that one doesn't actually have a physical shutter that you can shut. Instead, you're gonna have to toggle off the camera and microphone on the back of that device. 
Now, the reason that this is a privacy concern is that if somebody has your account information, they can log into your account and bring up that camera to see what is happening on the other side. So it's a good idea if you are not using the camera, go ahead and just leave it off. So your Google Assistant has a pretty cool feature called continued conversation. And what that setting does is that it allows the assistant to listen for any follow-up questions. So say if you were to ask it a question, it's going to leave the microphone open listening for any follow-up questions. Now this can be kind of annoying if you don't have a follow-up question or you're trying to talk to somebody else in the room. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to turn that off. We're gonna load up the Google Home app. We're gonna tap on our profile picture up in the top corner, go back to assistant settings, and then we're gonna scroll down until we see continued conversation. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. I've got mine turned on and it also says which devices have this feature enabled. So all you have to do is just tick the box next to it and that is going to turn the feature off. You just then need to back out of everything and it's automatically gonna save the settings for you. So if you're like me, you may trigger your device more often than you want to. You may be having a conversation with somebody, being on the phone, or maybe even just listening to the TV louder than normal, and then all of a sudden your Google Assistant kicks on and tries to listen to something. This is because the Hey Google setting is too sensitive. And a simple fix for that is just turning down the sensitivity of your wake word. What you're gonna do is you're gonna load the phone back up. We're gonna go click on our profile picture in the top right corner again, click on assistant settings, and then scroll all the way down to the very bottom to your sensitivity. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and we can set sensitivity depending on which device that we have. So for me, I've got this one really close to my face. It's on the desk behind me right underneath the monitor, so I don't need this one as sensitive as say, maybe one in a room where I'm gonna be shouting across the room. So for this one right here, my Nest Hub, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. It's default right now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down one and have it be less sensitive. So that way it's not picking up things from say the speakers that I have or from me having a conversation. Then like before, to save it, we're just gonna back all the way out, go to the home screen, automatically going to save everything for us. All right, which one from the list was the most helpful for you? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if I missed anything, drop it in the comments below and tell me about it. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next video.